Hi everyone, today we are going to see how we can make interactive charts in Excel. So we'll be preparing two charts uh, that will be controlled by the scroll bar. Uh, so this is the data that we have. Uh, we have uh, different years and different products with their sales number and then we have a column having total for each of the product. So first thing we want is to uh, create scroll bar and for that I will go to developer tab and I'll go to insert scroll bar and I will draw it over here so in case you don't see developer tab in your Excel just go to file and options and then customize ribbons and from here just make sure developer tab is checked and press ok so the next thing we want is to assign some control to this scroll bar and for that I will right click format control and the minimum value we want is 2010 which is the smallest year that we have and the maximum value will be 2023 the incremental change will be one and cell link we can give this one and okay and now if I click on the scroll bar it changes the year with the increment value of one so next we want to create a chart and for that uh, what we want is to display uh, values associated with the product for the year that is displayed over here and for that we will be using vlookup formula the lookup value is this i'll fix this with f4 and our table array is this I'll fix this one too by pressing F4 and column index is 3 and if we want exact value therefore I will mention 0 now if I copy paste it it shows me uh, the same value that's because we will have to change the column number manually which we do not want so therefore uh, we want this dynamic as well therefore we'll be using a function called column so what column does is that it actually calculates the count of columns in a given range so let's say I select this range I'll fix the first one so the maximum value in this range is 3 1 2 3 and if I drag it, since the range, sorry, since the range uh, also changes, therefore the maximum value in this range is 4. So we can use this formula to replace with the column index. And when I copy paste it now, it gives me the correct values. So in case you want to learn more about VLOOKUP, I have a separate video on that uh, with different tricks how we can use VLOOKUP. So I highly recommend that you go and check that out. So we want to create a donor chart and for that I'll go to insert. And I'll click this one. And I'll fix it over here. And I'll resize it by pressing Alt key so that it fits perfectly within the grid lines. Legends, we can show it on the left side. And we can change the style as well. And over here, we want the values as well. Therefore, I will right click Format Data Labels. 
and I want to show values and I instead of you know separating it with comma I want that into uh, a separate line therefore I will from here separator I will select new line okay chart title we can also make it a bit dynamic and for that I will what we can do is And we can join this tax with this year and I'll click uh, the chart title and press equal sign and give the reference of this cell so now every time I hit the scroll bar it not only changes the value in the donut chart but also updates the chart title as well the next thing we want is to create another chart which will be a bar chart and for that we need year and total so I'll select these two columns and press alt F1 so it gives me a bar chart so I can remove all of these objects that are not needed over here I can also remove the year values this in fact we can remove these as well and I will fix it over here and again while I resize I'm holding down alt key so that it fits perfectly within the grid lines so I can move it a bit down and expand this a bit okay so now when I uh, hit uh, scroll bar it changes the donor chart but it doesn't show any movement in the uh, bar chart so they want we therefore we want some interactivity in this chart as well so what we want is that uh, we want to highlight the column according to the year that is selected over here and for that first of all I will create a new column we can name it helper and we will create a logic which is if this year equals this show me the total otherwise zero I'll drag it down So the year 20, uh, 2018 is active therefore it is only showing me the total for that according to the logic that we have created. Now the next thing we are going to do is to click on this chart and press select data at the series name will be this and the series values will be this range okay and I want to overlap this column and for that I'll click this one and make it 100% and we can also reduce the gap size So when I uh, hit the scroll bar it highlights the column that is active so but I am not sure that uh, which uh, uh, year is this so therefore I will like to display the data labels and see uh, the zero is being displayed uh, for the other column which I want to hide of course so for that I will click that one go to numbers from category I will choose custom and from format code sorry from type I can use this second option so it disappears the zero values now when I hit the scroll bar 
it highlights the active column as well as shows the uh, legends for that particular column so these are very useful techniques that uh, you can use to uh, make your dashboard so if you want to learn more about uh, more about dashboards i have a separate course uh, for that and i highly recommend that you go and check that out thank you